Boys, the Eredivisie season is all but finished. It's about time we picked our team of the season. So we'll start with this back five. We'll start with Lars Unestal of Tavenza in goal. And then a back four of Nusem Mazraoui and Urien Timber of Ajax. Olivier Boscalje from PSV and Mace De Witt. Dean, I know Mazraoui is one of your picks here. Yeah, absolutely. Look, Eric Ten Hag knows how to find a fullback and get the best out of them, and um, that's exactly what he's done here. Um, seen Dest and Talia Fico do well at Ajax, and now Masraoui is like the latest one that's become a household name across Europe, like on the verge of a move to Bayern Munich at the moment. Like this guy has got all the tools in his locker to be one of the names that we're talking about probably for the next five, six years at the very top of European football. He's been absolutely outstanding. Yeah, Masraoui as a name in this team doesn't surprise me. Timber doesn't surprise me. Boss Cadley doesn't surprise me. Do you have a question on Mace De Witt here, Jack? You might want to just give us a bit more information there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I forced Mace De Witt through ahead of Owen Vindal, who was your pick. But look, I think Mace De Witt, despite the fact he plays for Nijmegen, who are currently bottom of the league and look set to be relegated, has really, really impressed. He scored four goals. He's already agreed a move for next season to RZ Alkmaar. They've impressed him so much that he's going from bottom of the table here to European competition. I've just been really impressed with him. Going forward, I think he offers so much. Obviously, this, this kind of four goals speaks for itself. But just a player that I've been really enjoying watching, keeping an eye on for next you've got, you've got respect the players at the bottom of the league as well. Benefit you have to, indeed. I'm not going to do that with midfield though. No. I'm going to go to our deep flying pair and Ibrahim Sangare from PSV and Orkun Kukcha from Feyenoord. Brilliant pairing yeah. and brilliant balance of this pairing as well. Mm. Like Sangare is a player we've loved for a couple of years and he just does everything. He patrols around in the centre, he chips in with tackles and, and interceptions, he controls the ball and manages the tempo really well. You're looking for a well rounded midfielder in this game and, and this is him. And Kukcha is just so creative get him into that final third and have him start pinging balls into the box and good things happen. So these two deserve to be in the team. Yeah, there's a reason Sangar is on the lips of pretty much every big club in yeah. Europe, I think, right now. Uh, moving to the three behind the striker, this is a 4-2-3-1. We're going to go for Cody Gakpo of PSV, Dusan Tadic of Ajax and Luis Sinistera of Feyenoord. And in front of them, well, it kind of had to be, didn't it? Allaire, Sebastian Allaire of yeah. Ajax um, and Dean well, his scoring rate speaks for itself. He's, he's top scorer in the division. Yeah, look, redemption for Allaire, for anybody that thought he wasn't good enough when he was at West Ham. When he plays his way, he scores goals. 21 goals this season for Ajax, um, seven assists as well. Um, look, probably most people from the outside area of Vizzi have seen the impact he made in, in European football. But um, ultimately, he's had a big impact on making sure that Ajax got over the line domestically as well. It hasn't been easy, actually, to win Eredivisie this season for Ajax. They've had to work very hard for it, but Allaire has been there when it mattered.